He'll totally go over there and scratch his name into it and pretend like it was his. And I'll say, it's not yours. Why did you damage that? And it was well preserved. Then he'll lick it and say, you're going to finish that? <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, I'm going to need to switch out my party members because I don't want these guys. Yeah, I guess I want to push the go button. Okay, well, I'm going to take you with me, Jaw. I just need to... I see enemies? Yes, those oh, red dots are friends. The they're above? Fully no. Are you sure? Because I saw an arrow above one. Yeah, they're not up. They're not Unless up. they put something in the game that I don't know. Do you see the arrows? Yeah, I do. That's bizarre. I hear something. It sounds Ooh. like remnant. I'm a little terrified. I feel like they're over here. Well, go over there. I if you're so curious. Maybe I don't want to. You're already heading that way anyway. Maybe I want PB to They're probably going to sneak up on your ass. Wait, what do you mean they're going to sneak up on my ass? How do I turn off my super flashlight? I see you. They see they're not above you. They're just up that hill. Punch. Well, whatever it was exploded. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone now. He's fucking oh, it's dead as shit. They're not evil. He was about to get you. You will be now, but... Enemies! Uh, they're gone now. <laughs> it was a little late. I don't think so. Vetra, you're on crack. That was you. Oh. <laughs> I'm on crack too. It's fine by me. It's delicious crack. What's this? A container. Okay. Full of silicon. Look, you guys couldn't even build bridges. What the hell? I think it's because that rock fell on it. No, I don't think so. I think they're incapable. If you hear like a beep, it's because my controller makes a noise whenever my flashlight turns off. I thought that was pretty cool. I can probably turn it off, but I don't care enough to do that, so. Enjoy! It's in there. I want you to go in the proper way. I'm ringing on the doorbell and saying trick or treat. Trick or treat, smell my feet. I want to eat and beat you. Wow, good rhyme. That was great A material right there. Hey, there are people here? I, I don't know about thought this they had job. to leave this place. It's risky letting a stranger wander about Havarl. You know the dangers. Yeah. I offered to accompany her. I think his mouse are moving bef Yeah. <gasps> oh, he burned you. Wait, what? I don't think he burned me. He said he offered to accompany you, but you didn't. He said you don't want his help. Oh. The ones from the other galaxy. Yes, Ryder Kiran Dows, lead scientist at Darpanev. Honored. I am honored to meet you as a representative of the Andromeda Initiative. Are all their people this formal? <laughs> She's just I like. I don't think so. Where's the rest of this texture? They love them. Has experience with remnant. We might be able to help their investigations. You haven't heard? They're all dead. While the team was exploring the monolith, something went terribly wrong. They were caught in some kind of remnant stasis field, frozen in place, unresponsive. But not dead? Are they still alive? If they're dead, Vitals I want their stuff. Steady and neural patterns resemble those exhibited in deep sleep. We subjected them to various stimuli, injections of Kachari, nothing worked. Let Ryder try. She's worked at the remnant tech inside a vault. Also, she said. Is there a wind blowing in there? Look at his little cape. I know, like, come on, guys. Maybe, maybe his cape has like technology inside of it, and it just moves constantly because he thinks it looks cool, like that. We don't know what triggered the stasis, and it may happen again. What if it's like a living thing? <laughs> You just like, you, you pass by his room, you hear him say, Good night, Coochie, and you hear blah, 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 and the thing crawls off his shoulder, climbs up on top of one of the crates, and then goes to sleep. For you to be in territory <laughs> it's like you touch it and it like slaps you. Escort. Yeah! I know of all. That, and you're already in danger of being shot on sight by Roka. Who's that? I'll think about it. I'll give it more thought and let you know if I change my mind. Thank you. Rokar are uh, basically their rebels. Oh. Our history is Same species? Yeah. The homeworld of the Angara. We built 
a civilization here. I think they um formed the after the, the cat came, came in because they didn't trust the cat, and then so they're untrustworthy of any kind of aliens at all whatsoever. So after you guys came to the galaxy, then they just became more pissed. Of course. So they're not friendly to you or your fellow Milky Way Galaxy compadres. Hmm. I see. I see. Well, I mean, I meant to take him with me, but. I mean, you could just go to the, the little beacon doohickey thing and switch teammates. Yeah. Uh, the Ford station. Read this. Me? Okay. Translated from... Sh is it Shelesh? Shelesh? Yeah. Shelesh. Shelesh. Paova Kirin. I'm trying to think of like what kind of horrible accent I want to do this Just read it. Who gives a shit? It's taking too long. Good to hear the cat haven't reached your research why, post. What even is that? I smoke too much cigarettes. <laughs> okay. We're not so lucky here. They're particularly swarming the old temples, trying to dismantle the remnant tech. We're trying to fight them off, but even with the resistance reinforcements, there are just too many of them. Commander called the retreat. I know you had your eye on those temples, but nothing we can do. We're There's closed. nothing we can do. Shut up. We're closing the area down. Who the fuck is talking? No one goes in and nothing comes out. Be careful, Garen. Wishing you sunny skies. Avela. That was somebody else. Oh, wait. <laughs> what? I switched oh. it by accident Why'd to the wrong one. This? Who cares? Okay. Well, Thank like you so much for bringing this to my attention. A crash site that well present preserved. I'd give anything to see it. I'll see if I can send someone capable to check it out. It'll probably be well protected. Full of guns and ammunition. Maybe bombs. I don't know. Probably bombs. Robots? Uh, who knows? And please make sure uh, Torvar, you know, he the asshole, doesn't hear about it. <laughs> He'll totally go over there and scratch his name into it and pretend like it was his. And I'll say, it's not yours. Why'd you damage that? And it was well preserved. Then he'll lick it and say, you're going to finish that? <laughs> I know he'll want to take a look himself. He's not equipped to deal with danger involved. I never forgive myself. He got injured trying to help. Wink, wink. <laughs> Stay safe over there. Wishing you sunny skies. A villa. Okay, is it my turn? Yeah, it is. <clears throat> Kieran, I'm sure you heard the attack on Site 7. The loss of Dr. Vereshev was a blow to the entire science community, and now many of Site 7's researchers are displaced and in need of a new post. Most will hear to I her head to Aya for recovery, but some want to continue working here on Harvaral because they just can't let go of shit. I recommend... You, I recommended your camp a suitable transition point. I know your resources are thin, but your site is the only one the cat have ignored. I don't want to put these people in danger so soon after they witness the death of their superior. And I'm sure you could use the help on your monolith project. Think it over. Give me your response tomorrow. Also, let's have dinner. Maybe make out a little. Stay safe. Mendel. Kieran, you're safe, right? I heard the cat attacked the old city again. I don't know you're on the other side of the planet, but that's still too close. Between the wildlife and remnant, Havaro is a dangerous place. Molly and Esther worry about you. I worry about you. Your work is important, and I understand that. But promise your old mother, oh my, that if the resistance tells you to evacuate, you'll listen and not go charging in there screaming something about Leroy and Jenkins. <laughs> None of this knowledge is worth the risk, nonsense. I mended too many of your broken bones when you were young, trying to climb on trees and trying to eat bicycles. What? It's time for you to give me a break. This is your mother speaking, who misses you. You better know my name. <laughs> I'm going to try to do an accent, and it's probably going to change the oh, route and, the, and then die. So just Jesus. So just, just prepare prepare your anus. Save all right. Um, all. What accent is I going to do? <laughs> I've attached the data gathered from our efforts on Aya to map the scourge. We found a few irregularities during our research. 
dust mostly, but you may want to look into it. If the material that isn't a match for any worlds in Helios, it would support your theory on colony worlds. This is a speculation, of course. You need to you you'd need to send someone out there to collect samples. But I figured it's worth a shot. If we're going to solve the mystery of this our past, we need to work together. Hold hands, do macaroni projects, that whole thing. Stars guide you, Americo. That was good. I like that accent, actually. You should use that more. It was funny. What accent? Oh, you <laughs> me that you'd be out here. You didn't prepare me to meet you. Okay. My name's Ryder. I'm with the Andromeda Initiative. The what? They say you want to help us. I wonder what hey, you're look. prepared to do. Hey, look. Their numbers are the same as ours. That looks like it says, um, 46? I'm in. That's mm. reassuring, assuming you mean well. My name is Rochelle Veer. I'm an archaeostronomer. I study our ancient cultural records for stellar phenomena. I piece together lost knowledge of ages past. My goal is to find undiscovered colonies we lost contact with, potential allies against the Ket. You think there might be Angara worlds you don't know about? They should have a species, a species that that d has a little hiccup after every sentence. My home was destroyed, and all my research with it. But I just yeah. learned part of the Someone would probably want to kill them. <laughs> I'm trying to recover my research data. The they'd, they'd be like, yesterday I went out to forage for rocks and it. These house guests, I assume they're of the hungry variety. The structure has become a breeding ground for insects and predators. Too many to face alone. I want to help. Your work is too important to lose. Let's get it back. I'll provide my home's location. Just recover my research materials from the computer. I'll remain in contact with you by com. Thank you for this. Okay. Got all kinds of shit. What's this? A data pad. Oh, God. An incredible find out in the field last week. A shuttle from before the scourge surfaced down to the ravine. From afar, it looked like a crash site. It was remarkably preserved. Especially I was stood of all his elements. I know Kieran Taspe was studying the monolith. But I'm really tired, so I'm gonna go take a nap in it. But maybe I could make my way down there and check it out. Just to peek and see if there's anything for Avela. He's dead. He's dead as fuck. How do you know? I don't know. I don't know. That's a problem, Amanda. And why I don't know scares me, and why I do know scares me more. Alright, uh, I wanna switch out my person. So go that way, I guess. You could have talked to more people when we've got more quests you could do Darth doing at this planet. Yeah, but, but I want what's his homie with me so he doesn't pout. He doesn't sit there pouting all fucking day. These fucking humans so ungrateful to want to take me on adventures with them. Oh my god. What did I even join up for if I'm just gonna sit here and warm her seat? Dude, why are there so why I'll, is this so I'll far just away? I'll just stay in my cabin and play with Coochie. My cape. What? His his case cape's name is Coochie. Since when? Since I said so. When did you do that? I said that a little bit ago. Oh, I wasn't listening when you said coochie. I, I don't remember if I said coochie, but it's, it's, now, <laughs> it's, it's coochie okay. now. Okay, alright. But it's now coochie. If it wasn't coochie before, it's coochie now. Alright, well, I actually do want to talk to all these folk. Are you sure? Yeah. Like, I didn't realize how far away it was. I thought it was, like, super close. It's not at all. Oh, there's one right here. You're so stupid. I was like, what are you even doing? Where the hell was the other one? They have them throughout the planet. Oh. You dingus. I like how no one's even, like, plus about this. Like, what the hell is this thing? Yeah. They've probably seen it before from your, from your other people, and they're like, no, we're more of this four station bullcrap. Uh, are you able to use your, your vo roomy vehicle here? Uh, no. Lame. The landscape's too, uh... Hardcore? It's, it's got rocks and trees and shit. You can't drive over it. Too hardcore parkour? It sounds like a bad group of bad motherfuckers. Yeah, they're pretty cool to take together. Well, I suppose we'll see about that. I took PB and Jal together on my first playthrough and then she started hitting on him and I was not okay with that, so I had, I had switched. Oh, boy. Because I was, I was, well, I was totally planning on romancing him on the next one, so I was just like, I don't want to hear oh, this. what? The next one? Which, the, which I have, did. Couldn't just let her have this one? No, it's all mine. You're the worst. That's outside. You're a bad wing woman. It was green for a second. 
Who says I'm made of wings? I do. What if I made of scales? Okay. Take all. This is a limit of shit that I can carry, right? Yes, you do have inventory capacity. They have increased it since the game originally came out. Okay. Because I rolled around in space real quick. Uh, established in the shadow of the Remnant Building, Palav was a center of trade and learning. Anyone who wished to observe working Remnant Monoliths was directed here. Deep within the tunnels of the Remnant Ruins, we could hear the hum of mysterious machines, their purpose unknown. Too dramatic? This is a history book, not a thriller. Note to self. Mention that entire Dar was overtaken by the jungle, with the only thing still standing being a small restored area that's used to research as a out research outpost. <laughs> also, I mentioned that remnants areas were still told to avoid. Uh, somebody died. <laughs> Scratch that. Okay. Somebody was drinking. Talk to, I'm gonna talk. talk to this guy before the episode ends. What? Wow, you're nice. She's you like, okay? you're standing too close to me. Is everything all right? Seem and grumpy. Uh, would you like a reward for that astute observation? He sounds like he's, he's old sassy. man. He's old man. Grumpy uh, old man. You're that alien visitor that came to Aya asking about I'm not home. alien. You're an alien. What the fuck was that light? Alien. Who hasn't? When strange new species turn up, reports spread fast. After the cat, can't be too. I mean, you technically you're the alien because you're invading their planet. Historian with the repository of history, Aya. Listen, if there's nothing you need, could you go away? I'm busy if you, to if you just go get your green card, at least, maybe they'll shut up. I want to know all about your story, I though. You can leave once you told me everything about Parents yourself and have no secrets. Some remnant relics while digging around the old ruins. I was sent to collect them for the repository. It shouldn't have taken more than a day. But things never go according to schedule, do they? Uh, usually not. Remnant ruins. Tell me all about Imagine those. Remnant ruins. Are there lots of remnant here? Yes. If you've been out in the jungle, you might have seen some of it. I saw some things. We think the ruins some bugs. A vast remnant you didn't even go very far. They're dead now. Hallways that wound through the area, both above and below the ground. Generations ago, our people took shelter in what we found here. That's how Plev was established. Plev. Were there no hostile remnant machines? None. According to the histories, we found artifacts, of course. Bits of things that we could study. But they say it was like moving into an empty home. Tell me more. You don't seem to like Havarl very much. Too many big bugs. Other regions suit me just it's fine. cursed. Didn't you hear me before? Oh no. I don't do well in this fierce wilderness. Oh, it's fierce. <laughs> fierce. What was that noise? <laughs> You think these shelters you just purr? I think he was growling to show how fierce he was. This morning and I was not more like a kitty's purr. It's like I'd, I'd rather to be at home sit on my couch with a cup of cocoa and purr in front of the TV. I'll go. I won't bother you further. Very well. Watch out for plants while you're out there. Vicious things. Uh, plan? 